KRFO AM 1390 with Sports Talk. Jason Yacovino with me uh, on Tuesday afternoons, Friday afternoons about this time for the latest sports news. Of course, focusing on the local side of it and a lot of fun last night. I got to say you did a nice job on the coverage from the play-by-play to the interview to the tweeting and the information getting out there regarding uh, Sid Schultz reaching a thousand points. So with Tana Girls Basketball. Yeah, you know, and the crowd was amazing, too. It was also parents' night, so they had a bigger crowd for that reason. And I'll tell you, I've never seen anything like it. You know, we've seen several players score a 1,000 points, uh, but I've never seen so many signs in the crowd. Congrats, Sid, 1,000 points. Yeah, a lot of people holding uh, these stick signs that had her face, a picture of her face up there. And then after the game, you know, it seemed like about a 10 to 15 minute photo shoot with <laughs> the whole team and fans and parents and you name it getting into this photo, uh, you know, before we had a chance to talk to her on the, on the air and it was nice of her to come over and do that too. So, and what it tells me, Roy, is she's truly a great kid and mm-hmm. she's very popular. Um, she's not one of these star athletes that kind of, you know, has a little edge to her and thinks she's better than everybody else or anything like that. I mean, she's just got a great attitude, and that's why everybody loves her. So I was very happy for her. And then, you know, the other thing is, what a game. I mm-hmm. mean, Mankato West, for a team that's in the middle of the conference, has given Oatana all they can handle, you know, in two games. And the Huskies were resilient, and, and they end up getting the win, and you look at their point totals, man, they are scoring a ton of points right now. 88 last night, uh, and then back-to-back games with 80 uh, late last week. Regarding Sid Schultz not only reaching 1,000 points as a junior, one of 10 Owatonna players to do so, uh, she was at the state track meet last season, uh, just a great all-around athlete, volleyball involved in that, so a, a three-sport athlete is a good one. Yeah, and you know what's really unique about the basketball side of it is, I was thinking this last night during the game too, you never see her shoot from beyond about 15 feet away from the basket. Mm -hmm. You know, the the elbow's about as far out as she gets. But it's not like she's 6'4 or anything. I think they've got her listed at like 5'10 or something, (laughs) maybe 5'11 somewhere in there. And so she just has a knack for getting to the basket creating space, getting good angles off the glass. She can run. You know, she gets a lot of points in transition, but but most of her points are are just getting rebounds and putting the ball back in from inside, and that is quite a skill for, like I said, somebody who just doesn't tower over everybody. Uh, You know, and and if she ever develops an outside shot, I'm not sure she doesn't have one. It's just she never shoots from the outside. (laughs) So, So we don't really know. But if she ever develops an outside shot, you know, suddenly now she's a Division One talent, uh, which she might be anyway. I mean, she's, you know, I hate to, to play the what if game or the look ahead game, but the reality is if she continues on this pace, uh, you know, she's the 10th best scorer in program history right now, but if she continues on this pace and stays healthy uh, for her remaining high school career, she's going to lead all Lowatana girls basketball players in scoring by a wide margin. She's going to get somewhere around 1,800 points by the time it's all said and done. And like I said, it's just amazing how she's able to do it. And, you know, and, and the points only really still part of the story because she's such a great rebounder. She's good uh, passing the basketball, taking good care of it. And somehow, with all the work that she does inside, she's smart enough not to get in foul trouble, which is also just amazing.